Okay, so just wanted to make a very short video, just documented progress on one of my projects and talk about something I've got coming up next. Um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube wargaming and miniature painting content lately. Um, and I've been really inspired by what I've seen and the community that's kind of grown up around it. So I thought perhaps I'd give it a go myself and um, maybe make a few videos and show off a few things that I'm working on. Um, I've been out of the kind of tabletop painting gaming hobby for 20 years or so. Um, play a lot of board games but don't do anything with the pieces, haven't tried painting. Um, until about six months ago I kind of got a bit of an itch to try it again. Uh, jumped in on a few games, made a few mistakes, um, slowly kind of got back into a lot of the techniques I used to use, um, you know, dry brushing and washes and all the kind of fancy things. Hopefully at least make models look good on the tabletop. Um, these are from the game Zona, which I'm just working on. Hopefully these will be finished in a week or two. Um, but the main point of this video I wanted to touch on was um, although I play a lot of board games I don't play much tabletop board gaming like I said I've not really played for 20 years since I used to play kind of GW games and Blood Bowl and Necromunda and that kind of stuff back in my teenage years um, but I've been watching a lot of videos specifically from Modeling for Advantage and um, Battle Bunker blog, I think it is, and a few others um, who play the game Bot Action. Um, I don't know why, but I got really inspired to jump in and give it a go. Um, I picked up this starter set um, and I want to make a series of videos based around this. Um, going to make up all the models in here, paint them up, have a few games with what's in here, see what my initial impressions of the whole whole thing is, um, see if I want to expand it a bit, maybe try a few different armies or get some extra units and uh, see how they play on the tabletop. Um, as I said, I've not played for 20 years any kind of tabletop game so it's going to be a nice learning experience I'm going to take my time with it um, in those 20 years a lot a lot has changed and I'm now a husband and a father and I have a full time job and a mortgage and all those things so I don't have a lot of time I don't have a big budget um, I don't have a lot of space I've got a 3x3 three three table so the kind of skirmish level of this is kind of what I'm aiming for um, so I'll make a few videos kind of going through the process of building this, painting it, playing with it. Um, I'll jump on the US Paratroopers first, mainly because this edition turned up without any German infantry sprues, um, which Warlord are now sending me, thankfully. Um, but I'll jump on the US first, see how that goes. Um, I'm going to be following the Kind of starter guide that comes with this. I've begun reading the full rules and kind of getting my head around it but I don't know the subtleties of the game yet so I'm just going to stick with what they suggest see how that goes. Um, the one extra thing I've picked up alongside this um, is a ruined Hamlet kit which is just another set of building uh, farmhouse buildings which match the one that comes in the starter set. Um, I have absolutely no kind of terrain or anything which could proxy decently for uh, terrain. Um, as I said, because I've not played or built any war games for a number of years. Um, so I've kind of got two projects, all the infantry and models from here and then the terrain to do. Cover those in some videos coming up and hopefully that'll be interesting to kind of follow along maybe just get some feedback and perhaps make more videos after that 
Um, so thank you for watching. Hope you're keeping safe and hopefully I'll be back soon.